Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Ah, right, folks, we have arrived in Venice, Louisiana, at the Yellow Cotton Bayside Cabins and RV Park. We'll be staying here. We came over here to go tuna fishing. We came with a group of guys. We'll talk to them later, but uh, they're getting everything unpacked right now. We're going to stay in these four cabins right here. Really excited. We're going to be here several days. Uh, right across that big dock, that levee there is, it was a, uh, the big, huge bay and the gulf. And back behind me, about 200 yards, is Mississippi River. So we're gonna, uh, I've always wanted to go to Venice and here we are. So let's go check this place out. We'll be checking in and getting everything set up. First thing I wanna do is walk down across over this levee and look at this water and see if we got a place to fish. Must be where they dug the uh, dirt out for the for the levee years ago. All right, here's the here we are. We're sort of facing southwest from Venice, Louisiana. I see it right away. Look at that dock. We're gonna fish off that tomorrow morning because we're not going to fish tuna for tuna tomorrow. Nat Harris and I get here and fish for some redfish off that dock tomorrow. Don't that look like it'll be some redfish out there? This is cool. A little log cabin look. Got the central heat and air on the back. I don't know if the boat comes with it or not. That's a nice boat. Oh, you know, this beautiful contender right here. We met these guys last last night. We just, uh, this is the non glamour side of being a captain. We place in the foot. Hey guys, tell us your name. Captain Jeff Schneider, Louisiana Tuna Charters. Jason Schneider. Y'all brothers? It. Yep. All right. We all good. Y'all. I don't want to stop y'all working. Keep working. But y'all been to Panama, all right? Yes, yes sir. All right. Okay. We brought not one but two of these trailers from Panama City. Unloaded them. Just finished unloading them. Not one, but like I said, we got two huge trailers. We're gonna entertain some folks. Cooking. Right, Chef Matt and Chef Billy. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Look at that big old griddle. Oh, no. Nope. Just enjoy cooking. Oh, I love it, man. Love you, cook, it. you cooked a long time? Yeah, about 70 years. <laughs> man, it's just smelling good, looking good, buddy. Man, it's going to taste good. Hi, right, folks. I'm on the dock with Nat Harris. Everybody's asleep, but Nat and I came out fishing. 
and I got one. I've been trying to top work out of a swim bait, but listen, uh, Nat's been catching the dickens out of catfish and croakers, <laughs> so I just got a hit. So we're gonna, you can see, shine out that way. What do you think, Nat? What do you think it is? It probably is a red, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, nice. There you go. Had him hook good. All Very right, good. all right. Good job. Thank you, Nat. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Alright, Nat. Nat's been catching right and left. What you got there, buddy? You got a croaker. Alright, there you go. Nice, nice croaker. Now, Nat, look here. Nat's got on the Panhandle Outdoor shirt. He's got a <laughs> croaker. Hold up, hold up. Let me get it. Alright, man. Good job. Everybody else in there asleep, aren't you, buddy? Yes, they are. Me, me <laughs> Waiting got, for breakfast. <laughs> me and I got it where it came off in the dock. Very good. All right. I got another one. We're going to do, we're going to start a new series. This is Nat and Winston Redfish <laughs> Show. Uh, Nat, Nat, I call it the same spot, buddy. Really? And uh, it, this is a little baby rat red. It sure is. But, uh. They they right out in the here, but I, I'm go, I've gone. You notice I've gone to gold spoon now. I, you're right. Sure did. All right, man. Yeah. All right, folks. Got another redfish. I'm out here by myself, Nat. That one in to cook breakfast. See, it's not a big one. But you can see, I changed lures again. I lost it. I actually lost it. Other stuff. I caught on three different lures, and a lot of lures, they right here at the dock. Uh, I'm, I'm skipping breakfast so I can fish. All right. All right, folks, we're out here in Venice, Louisiana. We've been talking about this trip and all, and we're going to introduce you to Billy Brown, the originator of this trip, and the, and actually, uh, he's going to tell us first about the, the company, Brown Products, and then, uh, then tell us about the trip. Good morning, Billy. Good morning. All right, tell us about the, the company. Uh, Brown Products uh, roots go back to 1944 when my father started it, and uh, primarily in the farm equipment business. Then we uh, moved on into other product lines, other industries, and uh, in 07, my brother and I split the company and uh, because of diversification, and Brown Products came into existence then, building um, outdoor power equipment such as landscape equipment, uh, some lawn care equipment, uh, some construction accessories, etc. And uh, we've been at it since 07 with the name Brown Products. And this is our first time to be able to do what we're doing now. We like to bring our best customers in or various customers in to go fishing. We've done that a couple of times with Captain Bobo that most people in PC know and had a great time. People are that was in 99 and 2000. People are still talking about it. So now we're in Venice and going tuna fishing because September is the only time they can go. And we don't have red snapper season. It's September is pretty tough fishing around Panama City or anywhere in Florida. Okay. Here in Louisiana, we go for the tuna. And of course, these people like to do the big thing and I like to do the big thing, so. Now who are you bringing in? Who are some of your, your folks you bringing in? We're bringing in, uh, People from Colorado, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, these North are top, Carolina, top and Georgia. Producers of your company. These are salesmen for our distributors okay. and some dealers for the for the distributors. And this is their reward for having a really good year. This is their reward for giving us a good year and doing a great job. Well, this is so great. I mean, that, you know, I know different companies they can send them to Las Vegas or the Bahamas, whatever. But this is this is a real thing coming to business. You know, I, I've traveled all these places of, uh, throughout my career, and I see all these corporate events going on. They're always catered. They're fancy. People got to wear their bow ties and white shirts and what have you, and they got to get on a bus and go from one little venue to another. And I'm a country boy. I was born eight miles out in the country from a very small town. Grew up in the woods. If mama wanted us when we was young and in the summertime, she knew to drive down to the bridge and blow the horn because we were swimming or fishing. Uh -huh. So 
a brown fishes. That is that simple. A brown is a fisherman. And uh, in 02, uh, 02, I got involved in the tuna fish, and I've never done anything like it. It blows my mind. I love it. Mm -hmm. And I love sharing it, and I love cooking. I love cooking unusual and new recipes, creating new recipes. And so that's everything we're feeding them this week, we're cooking for ourselves. Everything is recipes we've come up with there in Panama City. That is cool. And uh, y'all have been from your Midland City, Alabama now. I mean, that's right. your headquarters and all, but ship across the country. Yep. Right. We, we sell in like 36 countries, but 90, 95% of it sold in the U.S., and probably 80% of that is sold across the Midwest to the Northeast. Well, that speaks well. I know from 1944 when the company founded, I know your dad would be proud of y'all to continue in this uh, tradition and all. Was he an outdoorsman? Uh, was your dad an outdoorsman? He, loved <laughs> <laughs> he was accused of fishing as a career and work as a hobby. <laughs> that sums it up. <laughs> and <laughs> when, when he did finally officially retire, my brother and I, gave him the gave back the company gas cards and told him to travel like he loved doing and fish and gave him a box of brochures and hand these out when you meeting with folks that get, might have any interest in it and from the time he and mother officially retired they wore out drove into the ground five motorhomes <laughs> So, so they took you at your word. He did. They did. Awesome. Um, <laughs> they, they, they never stopped traveling. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Go do something else. And yeah. then, All right, go do something I think else. that'll do. No. 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 You've got to rotate. I got you. Matt, what are we making here, buddy? Uh, this is smoked. A tuna smoked tuna salsa you're working on. Smoked tuna. Salsa. Smoked tuna salsa. Yeah. And Ron's working on smoked crab salad. This is the smoked crab right here. What that looks great. And I'm working on smoked shrimp. I see you make a beer of a catering company. All right, folks, I know this has nothing to do with fishing. My buddy and I were talking, and we had some. We've always talked about Katrina since we've been down here, but wondering how high the waters got during the Katrina days. And uh, we have this lady, the manager here. So tell us, introduce yourself. My name is Jen. I'm the manager here at Yellow Cotton. Been here for about, well, right after Katrina. Right after Katrina, and I helped rebuild the cabins. Okay. All downstairs had to be gutted and redone. The one upstairs, right over here, our cabin upstairs, that made it. So that didn't have to have nothing done to it. Oh, okay, so, so now tell us uh, how high the water got. Now the on the other side, that's the bay over here and the river behind us. Right, right. So. The water surge was 30 foot water surge and it settled right above this window. Right above the window, I would say about almost halfway to the next window up top, about halfway. Okay, you see the top window, folks? So basically below that top window. Yes. Now y'all see the how, that is truly incredible. I mean, yeah. I've seen a lot of stuff, but that, that's amazing. And we kept that line up there for years, and we just painted it probably about five years ago. Wow. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, folks, we're at this dark 30. We're at the Venice Marina. All these folks you see in the yellow and the blue shirts, this is our fishing party. We're going on three boats. Everybody's excited. We've had a big breakfast, had a fish fry last night. And we'll see a lot more when it gets daylight. I just want to show you how we're getting set up. Tom. Tom. North Canton, Ohio. From where? North Canton, Ohio. Hey, listen, I've been there. I've been to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yes, sir. Cool place. I'm Bill from North Canton, Ohio. Okay, y'all came down together? Yeah, we did. I'm Michael from North Canton, Ohio. So all three of you, Ohio guys, great. Yeah. And our captain. Michael Pittman. 
Michael, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm from Covington, Louisiana. Been doing this for about six, seven years now, so full time fishing. What's our game plan for today? Today we catch a little bait right now. We're gonna run out and go tuna fish. Tuna fishing. Catch some yellowfin. All right. Hi, Randy, Gabe. I'm from uh, Albertville, Minnesota. Minnesota, okay, and you caught some. Uh, you showed him some pictures last night of some nice uh, sturgeon. Nice sturgeon that we caught, my son and I. You bet. All right. A lot of fun. Hoping this is the same. Good deal. And Matt from Pace, uh, Plymouth, Michigan. Michigan. First, first time tuna fisher. I guess they cost me a case of beer or something, isn't it? <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> we got some fishermen on board. Catching that bait. All six of them. That's the goal. Now tell us who you are. Uh, I'm Rue McNay from Melbourne, Florida. Been doing this for three whole months. <laughs> All right, Melbourne. How'd you get over here to Venice? I got talked into quitting my corporate accounting job to go do this. No kidding. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> If you're a neat freak or a clean, clean person, you probably aren't cut out for this. Can we throw him overboard now? <laughs> yeah. Chips and catch them tuna. What do they need to do? What's that for? What do they need to do with the rod? Mainly, you don't want to come much higher in your eyes. You just want to pump up, pump up slow and reel down fast. Keep a bend in that rod at all times. Pump up slow and reel down fast. When you run, you just gotta let it run. Got one over here. Got <laughs> He's fast and furious, huh? What kind of bait is that? The hardtail. Just hard hooking them right through the back and bumping them around. Oh, we get free line or not? Yes, That's try right. to start keeping your rod a little uh, straight out. Want the rod out the side. When you can. Good, huh? Yeah. Already got one. That's the first one. First one. First one right there in the box. That took, God, it took five minutes. What took so long? Fingers, grab his gill.
quick. Doubled up again, we pulled hooks on one. No, but they're fish. I know. They got up pretty quick. Yeah. Ah, good job. How did that feel? That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.